ginger, we have onions, we have garlic string ray, okay, which I've already cut into small pieces. This is my tamarind juice. This is the masala which I've prepared, okay. It's some chili powder and fish curry masala. My pounded pepper. Fenugreek, okay. This is fenugreek. The vendium is fenugreek. We have um, jira, which is a cumin, and we have mustard. Okay, I'm cooking this fish curry in an earthen pot. Okay, and I've, um, I've added some oil, and I've added in my mustard seed, my fenugreek, and my cumin seed. After they have popped off, I've added in my garlic, pounded garlic, some green chili and onions. Adding in curry leaves. The ginger's are ready. As you can see, they are brown. Okay, now we can add in the garlic. Adding in salt, covering the pot for a while. Okay, removing the pot to check on the gravy. Yeah, it's already thickened, and I'm adding in my tamarind juice. Okay. To add into the gravy. Okay, I'm going to add in my fish. You don't have to, um, normally when we do a uh, fish curry, we don't cook the fish very long. But for this fish, we can cook them long because they won't dissolve. Okay, so we let it boil for until another 10 minutes or so. Okay, the fish is cooked. I'm adding in the pepper. This, um, to enhance the taste of the gravy and normally for this um, fish the string ray or the tilka miner we use this uh, garlic and pepper at the last okay when it's finishing i've already added the pounded garlic and now i added in the black pounded pepper okay at this point of time you can taste to see how is it and you can off the stove in about a few minutes. Okay, the fish is cooked. I'm adding in the pepper to, give, um, to enhance the taste of the gravy. And normally for this um, fish, the string ray or the tilka miner, we use this uh, garlic and pepper at the last Okay, when it's finishing, I've already added the pounded garlic and now I added in the black pounded pepper. Okay, at this point of time, you can taste to see how is it and you can off the stove in about a few minutes. Mm 